Hi YouTube, it's Mrs. Rains here. I wanted to come at you with a video. I know I'm late uploading this, um, but as you can tell from the title, I'm actually going to talk to you about some cleaning products I hauled today because I'm trying to change the way I do my cleaning. Um, as you know, I've already talked about my cleaning routine. You can go back a few vlogs and see that. But the one I want to talk about today is the actual cleaning caddy. I got this idea from At Home with Nikki. If you haven't checked her out on YouTube, you must. She is a must watch. She is a wonderful YouTuber. She puts up new content all the time. She's under the weather right now. She has had to evacuate her home due to the storm. And um, please, if you're not already praying, pray for all the people that are involved with the storm. Um, I do have family in Florida and I have spoken to them. Um, or my, you know, either myself or my husband has spoken to them and everyone is doing fine. But at the same time, I needed to come to you with this video. At Home with Nikki is where I got the idea from. Although, I use some of the things that she talks about, but now I was trying to kind of tweak my cleaning system. And her, I just loved her cleaning system and I loved her cleaning caddy. So it inspired me that I wanted to do something similar. And also I wanted to do something that was a little more eco-friendly because my cleaning, my current cleaning system before this new system has been kind of all over the place because I couldn't quite decide on products, but now I have a product that I love, or a couple of products that I love, and now I've got some tools to go along with that. So that being said, I'm gonna show you my current caddy situation. So the caddy I have came from Home Goods. This is what it looks like. Hang on a second. Of course, something would try to jump out as I'm trying to show this to you. But this is what it looks like. It's kind of heavy, so I'll lift it up. And it has everything in it that I need to do spot cleaning around the house. Mind you, this is not everything that I need, but it's the basics of what I need. And anything that I need in specific rooms like the bathroom or the kitchen or a basement or just wherever. A lot of those things are kept in the rooms that I clean them. So like basement or bathroom things are kept under the sink and the vanity of the bathroom, obviously. But these are basic things that I could go through. If I was maybe having company come over and I needed to spot clean really quickly, these are the things I would use. And I'm just going to go through and tell you what all I got and also differentiate the products that I always use with the ones I just got today. So I got the caddy itself today. This two section caddy came from Home Goods. It was $6.99. Um, they had larger ones and other colors, but I wanted something a little more compact because our home is three levels and I need to be able to get up and down the stairs without carrying something large and bulky. So I wanted something small and compact that had everything that I really would need on board. So the first thing I'll show you is the cleaning products that I must have. These are must haves, can't do without them. And I know people will say, well, you know, I don't like this or I don't like that. This is what works for us in our home. So this is the reason why I carry what I carry. So the first thing is Clorox wipes. I'm not sponsored by the way. I bought all of this with my own money. But I love Clorox wipes because they're quick and easy and you can kind of just grab and go. You don't have to worry about wetting a towel or finding some kind of spray or whatever. Those you can just, especially for like, especially during the time we're getting close to flu season. So like doorknobs and faucet handles, the refrigerator handles, just you name it. Clorox wipes go a long way. Also, I noticed the Clorox wipes are good because if you have light colored countertops and you spill something, you want to use a Clorox wipe because that does help to keep it from staining. Um, the next product I use, which is my favorite, I can't stand the way, and Clorox wipes are, are mild, but I can't stand the way bleach smells. And most cleaners either have bleach or ammonia in them, and it just makes me want to gag. I can't stand the smell of it. So I looked around until I found something that I could live with. And of course, if you just saw a couple videos ago, I did a Trader Joe's Top 10 Health and Beauty. Well, this is a Trader Joe's cleaner next to Godliness, no streak, multi-purpose cleaner, and it says with essential oils. This is what I use, and it's from Trader Joe, and I use it all over my house. I love it so much. I go to Trader Joe's, and I seriously will buy three of these at one time to make sure I have one on each level or something similar to that. So I love this. That is my main cleaning product, but there's others. The other one that I must have is scrubbing bubbles. I know it says bathroom cleaner. I know this. Don't panic. But this stuff is wonderful. If you have painted doors, if you have uh, painted wood trim, 
painted wood crown molding, if you have beadboard, if you have, um, what's it called? I forgot, wainscoting. If you have anything decorative, any type of trim work that's painted, especially painted white and doors painted white, this stuff is great. I use scrubbing bubbles for that. I use it for the toilets. I use it for the tub. I use it for cleaning the inside of the sink. Another good one for a sink, if you have a white sink especially, is Barkeeper's Friend. I don't have that in the caddy, but I do keep that in the kitchen. But that's another one that I absolutely love. I used to have a glass top stove many moons ago and fell in love with Barkeeper, Barkeeper's Friend then. And I still use it. And most of these products you can either find at Target, Walmart, really wherever. With the exception of the Trader Joe's cleaner that has to come from Trader Joe's. And it's not worth it to buy it online because most places will try to overcharge you. So if you don't have Trader Joe's near you, find a friend that does so they can get it for you. The other must-have item is less of a cleaner and more of a uh, room spray. And this is the Harper & Lee Fine Room and Linen Spray. This is the Lemon Verbena that stays in the caddy. Lemon Verbena. This comes from Home Goods, and it is $3.99. I don't know if you can see that. So $3.99. And it's a huge bottle, so it lasts a very long time. To put it in perspective, this is the one I keep in my bedroom. It's the same brand, same thing, but it's lavender, because I love lavender. And the liquid's still at the top, and I've had this one for probably six months now. And I spray this probably four times a week. Like anytime I deep clean the room, anytime I spot clean the room, I'll make the bed and spray it. If I'm in between sheet wash day, I'll spray it. I just, I spray it all around the room. I spray the bed, I spray the curtains, I spray chairs, I spray whatever. And in the living room, I spray it even more than that. And I also have a lavender scent in the living room. But the lemon verbena is kind of like more fresh smelling, so it's good for kitchen and bathroom. Okay, so now those are the things that I must have in the caddy. These are products that I have used and have worked for me and I will continue to use because they work for me. Okay, now let's talk about the haul. So this is the much promised haul besides the caddy. Some items I picked up from the Fresco Cleaning Product brand. I have seen these at probably like Bed Bath & Beyond has it. I got mine at Home Goods, but I know Bed Bath & Beyond has them and I know that um, Zoo Lily has them online and maybe a couple other places. I can't think of all of the places that I know sell them. And I can, you can get a few of the products on Amazon. Not the full array, obviously, but there's a few that you can get. But I specifically got these from Home Goods because I like the color options. They don't have the color options just everywhere. So when I saw all of it at Home Goods, I was like, I must have it. You know how you buy sponges? I normally buy these, these sponges. I get them either from Walmart or the dollar store and it's like $4.99 for a two-pack and I like them because they're coarse on one side and soft on the other and these are good because if you want to disinfect them you can put them in the microwave and disinfect them well these are costly because we go through these so quickly even though we microwave them and try to you know keep them clean and keep them deodorized I still go through them very quickly so I decided I wanted something that was a little bit more long term also, I normally use these microfiber towels. I get these from the dollar store. They come like three or four in a pack, I think, for a dollar. And these are good, don't get me wrong, because I can put them in the washing machine. But it occurred to me, if I can get these and put them in the washing machine, then why can't I find a microfiber sponge? So, of course, when I saw the Fresco brand, I decided I'm going to get it. So, the Fresco brand sponges look like this. And to look at them in comparison, look at how much more surface area you get. You still have the two sides, a softer side and an abrasive side. It's not as abrasive as this, but this is less likely to scratch your dishware. And it holds seven times more water according to the um, packaging. And I'm sorry, I don't have the packaging with me, but um, I just, I'm so happy to unwrap everything and put it in the caddy. I did not bring the packaging with me, but just know that when you find these, it's worth it. So you get two of these in a package for $3.99 and you can put them in the washing machine. That's huge. Put them in the washing machine, wash them, disinfect them, let them air dry, and they're ready to use again. So I bought two packs of them, so I have four total. So what my plan is is to rotate them out, and as I wash them and they air dry, put them back into the mix. So if I do that, we can see how long these last. 
I hope they last a very long time because this would be saving us a ton of money because we spend $3.99 for a two or three pack of this and they last me maybe a couple of weeks before they start to get a little old. The other thing I got from the same brand, Fresco, was this pot cleaner. I got this one mainly because I think it's, I love it because of the color, but I also love the handle. It's rubberized. It's better than the one I had. I had a two pack of these from Ikea, but they were like not very sturdy and the head of it is kind of wobbly because it's, it's two pieces. This is a solid piece. And I like the design of it because the way it's shaped, I can hold it here and put my thumb against it and really get in to clean. So I love that. And I love the way the handle feels. And I also love that it has this little chain. So if I decide I wanted to put a hook or something on the cabinet and hang it near the sink or something like that, I could. Also by the same brand, Fresco, they make a duster. And it's got the same type of rubberized handle. It has a loop that I could hang this if I had um, like a hanging products cleaning area. And this is all microfiber and this is detachable. It comes off the head and I can put this in the washing machine, let it air dry and reuse it. So I don't have to, I have been using the Swiffer um, dusters and the Swiffer ones come with these refill duster packs and you gotta, the little flimsy plastic handle and you gotta put the new head on and throw the other one in the trash. And I was thinking like, how much money would I save not having to buy those? So I'm hoping this works out. I'm very excited about it. As a fail safe, I also got from Fresco, their cleaning mitt. So it's like microfiber on one side and then the feather dusting on the other side. I'm looking forward to using this on things like air vents where you have to kind of go back and forth past it because these little nubs will be able to go inside in between there and you know like maybe um, you know on high shelves and things like that I can reach up there and kind of get a better handle on it and be able to kind of see what I'm doing and not have to fumble with this as much. The only thing about this I don't like is I wish I had a handle that was long enough to be able to do like ceiling fans with it, but I bet you I can find a way to do that. So all of these products were like $3.99 for each piece. $3.99 for each piece of these, and then these were $3.99 for the two packs. So very affordable and all found at Home Goods. They had other color options, but I preferred this one because I like this kind of aqua green color and also that's Nikki's favorite color on at home with Nikki and so I was like I instantly fell in love with her caddy so I wanted to try to um, not specifically do it like hers but emulate it somewhat to a point to see if I like it so I'll be trying that out I also I didn't bring it up here with me but I also purchased a little handheld scrubber so it's a scrubby brush at the bottom and it's round and you can unscrew the top and put soap in and it has a little button so you can dispense the soap while you're using the scrubber so I'm looking forward to trying that as well that is not a fresco product that one came from KitchenMaid and hopefully I'll when I do the kitchen tour video that's coming up I don't know if it's next week or the week after I have to look at my notes but if I do a kitchen tour video, then you will see it then because I already have it on my sink filled with soap and ready to go. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and um, hopefully I'll do it, be able to film an update on it. So I'll talk to you later.